all right good afternoon and welcome to master talker online class in today's video we'll be solving calculations on lenses all right you have to watch our first video where we derived the formula for calculating uh, lenses all right uh -huh. so it will help you the link is on the description it really help you to know what we are trying to do here so the first question we are going to solve in this particular uh, video say that an object an object placed 80 cm from a lens from a lens has its image has its image located has its image located 48 cm from from the lens from the lens then i say calculate calculate the the focal length calculate the focal length of the lens okay now this is a very simple question so what do we do solution what did they give us they said that an object placed 80 cm from the lens so this is the distance of this object and the distance of this object is known as u which is what 80 cm we know it by saying uvio in clockwise direction uvio okay uh -huh. uv i move this way uvio so object distance is presented by u okay so then said that has its image located so this is the image distance the image distance which is v the image distance is v and it's located at um, 48 cm mark so then i say we should calculate our f our f is unknown i know that one over f is equal to what one over u plus one over v all right so what do we have now we have that one over f is equal to one over f is equal to one over 80 plus one over 48 so uh you can just multiply everybody by the product of these two things okay or you just say I can multiply everybody by the product, but if it is plus here, this condition I want to give you is just for when it is plus. If it is plus, you just say that F, turn it upside down, F will give you 80 times 48, now divided by 80 plus 48, right? Or you just multiply each of them by the LCM of everybody here to remove the denominator. You can use any of the two ways to get your answer. So my answer here will now be what? 80 times 48 to give me uh to give me 3840 divided by 80 plus 48 120 divided by 120 so what do i have 3840 divided by 120 i'm having 30 so 30 cm that's the way to do it or from here you can multiply everybody by lcm the lcm of this and this is all looking for the lcm multiply everybody by the product of everything in the denominator the product of everything in the denominator will give you 80 times 48 times f is the product of everybody in the denominator so i want to multiply each of them by this thing so 1 over f okay is equal to the same 80 times 48 times f is being multiplied by 1 over 80 okay plus the same 80 the same 80 times 48 times f will still multiply by 1 over 48 to remove the denominator. So 48 is taking care of 48. 80 will take care of 80. And F will take care of F here. So this time this will give me 3840 is equal to uh, 48F. Okay. Plus, uh, what do we have here? This time this will give you 80F. So this is 3840 is equal to this plus this will give you 122F. So my F will now be what? 3840 divided by 120 will give me the same 30 cm so any method you like will still give you the same answer so we'll go to the next question question number two so question number two here said um, question number two question number two said the real image the real image please take note of this real the real image of of an 
object, the real image of an object formed, the real image of an object formed by a converging by a converging lens by a converging lens of focal focal length focal length 15 cm okay comma is is three times is three times is three times is three times the size the size of the object then I say calculate the object distance okay now there is something you need to know please take note of this reel okay uh -huh. and the converging lens if it's a converging lens the focal length will, will, will be positive I told you that in the previous video so because it is a converging lens a converging lens is a convex lens and the convex lens has a, a, a positive focal length now since it forms a real image and you know that when a converging lens forms a real image the the height of the image is going to be inverted okay the height of the image is going to be real and inverted if you remember so but they said here that what that um that the real image of an of of an object the real image of an object is three times is three times the what what they say is three times the size of the object so therefore the image distance so the image height the height of the image is what three times the height of the object okay the height of the image is three times the height of the object which shows that the magnification here is height of image over height of object which is what three h o over h o which is what three so the magnification here is three if the magnification is three we can now calculate uh what we need we know that what my m is going to be what the the object negative the object distance over what the object um, negative the object distance over what the object the sorry negative the image distance over the object distance okay or or this one why do i uh, now but there is you need to be very very careful why why you need to be very careful is that since they say that it is a real image if it is a real image then the object the in fact the op, if they say that it's a real image that image has to be formed behind the 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 distance so it's going to form at the positive side so is either you use positive here don't use negative here okay so is either you use positive here because the image the distance of the image has to be at the right hand side for it to be real is either you use that that here will be positive or you say that since it's going to form an inverted, an inverted, um, what is it called? Since it's going to form an inverted height, the height is going to be inverted. So if it's going to be inverted, then my magnification is going to be negative because the height here will be negative because it is real. If it is real, it will be inverted. Are you with me? So, so it's going to be negative. So I'm going to have minus three. Are you getting me? That is what I'm supposed to do, sir. Because watch me now. Watch. My magnification is equal to what? H I over what? H O. But the problem here is that since it's forming a real image, that image is going to be inverted. So the height will be negative. So that's why I'm going to have negative the height of this image over the height of the object. Are you getting it? So this is where I'm going to have what? Minus 3 H O all over what? H O. Why do I have minus 3? Because H I, it told us that H I is 3 H O. So if H O and to H O, I'm going to have minus 3 here. Uh -huh. So therefore, you will now see that this is going to be minus 3 is equal to what? Minus the I over what? The O. Uh -huh. This will help us. So what do we have now? So if we cancel out, we see that what? That our DO is equal to, sorry, our 3DO. Our 3DO is equal to what? The I. If minus, take care of minus. So having this thing now, you can now calculate our DO. How do you calculate your DO? Using the formula, you know that 1 over F is equal to what? 1 over U plus 1 over V. You know this. And then your DO is your U. Don't forget. Okay? Or you can say DO and then the I. Okay? 
okay so therefore 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over my do is still do because that is what i'm looking for plus 1 over my di is 3 do so i say 3 do so if you do your math multiply everybody by the lcm of the denominator the lcm of the denominator is simply is simply 15 do so if i multiply everybody by 15 do 15 do times this i'll just have the o here is equal to 15 do times this i'll just have 15 here plus uh what do i have again uh what do i have 1 over 3 15 do if i multiply this by 15 do the o take care of the o and then this take care of this i have five so i'm left with five here so therefore my do is this plus this which will give you 20 cm so the distance of the object from the from the lens is 20 cm very very simple to calculate all right so but but there is a quick formula to calculate it anyways uh, but i just use this to explain it in details for you to understand uh -huh. uh, the quick formula to solve it is uh we have that i think magnification is equal to f over u minus f something like this i don't need to remember the formula what i do is just to analyze it and get what i'm getting perfectly so number three number three said the image the image formed the image formed by a converging a converging lens the image formed by a converging lens of of focal length of focal length f at okay is is at a distance of 2f from from the lens from the lens okay then i say calculate calculate the the literal magnification produced okay calculate the literal magnification produced let me refill my marker so now as i'm refilling this marker be thinking of what the answer is okay be solving it by yourself to know if you can get the answer while i'm refilling my marker okay now i hope you have gotten the answer now look at what they said they said that the image the image of uh the image formed by a by a converging lens first of all is a converging lens and if it's a converging lens my f is going to be positive so they gave it to me as f the focal length is f and uh, is at a distance the image is at a distance of so the distance of the image the image distance is equal to what they say it is 2f okay now first of all let us get the object distance it will not help us to get the magnification okay so what do we do now uh, we will not have that uh, so solving this i have that my one over f is equal to what one over d i plus one over d o okay so which is what one over f is equal to one over two f plus one over d o d o is what i'm looking for so uh if you multiply everybody by two f d o because that is the lcm multiply everybody by two f d o so two f d o into one over f is equal to 2FDO into 1 over 2F is it plus 2FDO into 1 over DO. So DO take care of DO, 2F take care of 2F, and F take care of F. So I am left with 2DO here. 2DO is equal to, I am left with DO here. DO, okay, plus, I'm left with um, 2 2 f right i'm left with 2 f here so therefore this one coming here 2 d o minus d o is equal to 2 f so therefore my d o is equal to what 2 f so if my d o is equal to 2 f i'll tell them that my magnification is minus d o over what minus the i i must be up all over d o which is what minus 2 f over what minus 2 f over over 2 f okay 
Uh -huh. This minus is just in the formula. So you put in your di is 2f and my do is 2f, which is what? Minus 1. So the magnification is 1, not minus 1. The magnification is 1, okay? But why it is minus shows that it is a... Uh, it is inverted because the magnification shows where it will be. It is, uh, shows if it is inverted or not. So because the magnification is minus one, it is a real image that is inverted. And that is the property of what? A, con a converging lens, which is a concave, uh, which is a convex lens. So the magnification is one. It is one CM. Okay. Why? Because it is converging. Okay. So I'm going to use one CM. That is why... In most of them, they, they don't used to put this. They will just say this divided by this, and then you have your this, right? So anyhow, you want it to be is very very correct. So so then, what do I have? So they say the literal the literal magnification is just one. That's the literal magnitude. So number three, number three. Okay, sorry. Number three. Okay, number three here said the. Okay, this is number three that I just solved. Number four. Number four said a sample. Okay, a simple. A simple magnifying. A simple magnifying glass. A simple magnifying glass is used. A simple magnifying glass is used to view to view an object. Then I say at what at what distance at what distance from from the lens must at what distance from the lens must must the object must the object be placed be placed so that so that an image so that an image five times five times the size the size of the object five times the size of the object is produced is produced 20 cm from the lens. It's produced 20 cm from the lens. Solution. Okay. Now they say that uh, a simple magnifying glass is used to view an object. And I say at what distance? So we're looking for at what distance from the lens must the object be placed? So we're looking for the distance of the object. Where will we keep this object? So uh, we placed so that an image is five times the size of this object, okay? So that the height of this image is going to be five times the height of this object. That's what they told us, okay? Then I said um, uh, five times the size of this object, place 20 cm from the lens, okay? They said that such that the image is now placed 20 cm. So the distance of this image is what the sorry question mark so the distance of this image is placed 20 cm from the from the object okay so what do we do from here we know that our magnification don't forget that magnification is equal to what the height of this over the height of this so which is what 5 h o over what h o which is what 5 okay the magnification is 5 so if the magnification is 5, then we need to get the, the height of... We know that the magnification is equal to... Now they say a simple magnifying... Okay? So we know that magnification is what? Negative the distance of the object over what? It, so the distance of the image over the distance of the object, which is what? Minus 20 over what? Over, huh? Okay, sorry. I have that this. Okay. So if you have this, you should have that. That this is your magnification is five. Is equal. Now, now the problem is, 
the problem is that uh, okay we have we have the distance of the image this image is placed 20 cm so if this image is placed 20 cm and this image this image now is positive the distance of this image is positive that means the image is formed at the right hand side and the and if the image is formed at the right hand side that means uh, is going to be is going to be inverted so any converging lens image that is formed at the right hand side is inverted so if it is inverted then your magnification will be negative so the magnification here that means it's going to have the height will be negative so it's going to have a negative magnification so i'm going to have that minus 5 is equal to what minus 20 over what 5 okay because my di my di is 20 okay sorry i'm sorry i'm looking for what am i saying so i'm going to have that minus 5 as my magnification is minus di which is 20 over what d naught so if they if they change d naught will now be minus 20 over minus 5 which is what 4 cm so 4 cm is the correct answer there okay so we'll go to the next question so you have to have to be very very careful just be checking the negative the positive the blah 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 it will help you to to get the correct answer and then not to be confused as well so question number five the more we solve question the more you are going to understand this thing very well so question number five said a lens a lens of focal length a lens of focal length 15.0 cm forms forms an upright uh -huh. there's a this word now will help you now uh -huh. forms an upright image so if the, the image is upright then it is a virtual image uh, form an upright image four times four times so this could be a convex uh, a concave lens as a diverging lens or a convex uh, or a convex lens that is closer that is very much closer uh -huh, something like that so let us just find out what it is it says that a lens a lens of focal length 15 cm forms forms an upright image four times the size the size of the object so the magnification is simply four uh -huh. four times the size of the object who stop then i say we should calculate the distance calculate the distance of the object and the image the image from from the lens okay now the only thing that will make the only thing that will make uh, the only thing that will make an image to be upright is when they are formed at the left hand side i hope you know so the object is negative at the left hand side the the what's it called the the image is equally negative at the left hand side okay uh -huh. then it will not make the magnification to be positive so the magnification is positive so having this they have that solution they told us that uh, the image uh the image is four times the size of the object so the height of the image the height of the image is what four times the height of the object which shows that the magnification is four if the magnification is four then uh, let us now calculate the fo the focal length once to get the focal length first of all we need to we know that the magnification is equal to what a uh, negative the i over what the o okay so which is what my four is equal to negative i hope you know that that the image that the image is going to be at the left so it's going to be negative the i again okay over the o so therefore my di is what for the o you should know this my di is for the o in the in the distance of the object we are not interested in whether negative or positive we don't need it we know that it is always at the left okay we don't need to just put it okay so now we have that our di is negative is what is for the o okay but i know that my my one over f is equal to what one over the i plus one over the o so if i put everybody i'm going to have they gave me that my f the focal length is 15. now 
if the focal length is 15, you should know that, that the focal length is going to be minus 15. Why is it minus 15? Uh, it's because, um, okay, it could be just 15. It could be just 15. Okay, let's say the focal length is negative 15. Let's assume that it is a convex lens. Okay? But it could be positive 15 if it is a concave anyways. Uh -huh. but let's see if they told us a lens of focal length is 4 times. Okay. So let's take, since they did not tell us that it is negative and they did not tell us whether it is a, is converging or diverging. Let's just assume that it is just that positive 15. So what do I have? I have that 1 over 15 is equal to what? 1 over. My di is 4 do. So 4 do plus 1 over do. So LCM of everybody is um, 60 or 30. Let's, okay, 60, yeah, 15 times 4 is 60. So 60 do. Multiply everybody by 60 do. So I have that what? 60 do in bracket of 1 over 15 is equal to 60 do in bracket of 1 over 4 do okay plus 60 do in bracket of 1 over do so do take care of do 4 do take care of 60 do to have 15 here 15 take care of this to have 4 so i am left with 4 do is equal to what 15 plus plus 60 so what do i have so 15 plus 60 will give you, okay. So I think there is a mistake somewhere. Let's say it forms an upright image. We need to be very careful with this question. A focal length of 15 forms an upright image four times the size of the object. Okay? Four times the size of the object. Now, that means the magnification is positive. If the magnification is positive, then it is upright. Then that means we are going to take negative for this man. Let's take negative for this man. So let's assume that it is a convex lens. So let's take negative for this one. So I'm going to have negative here. So that means I'm going to have negative 4 here. Okay. To have... Um, right? Okay, so let us analyze this again. I'm having, I think there is a mistake somewhere. So let us just analyze it again. They say that a lens of focal length of 15, focal length here is 15 watt cm. Okay, forms an upright image. This image is upright, but this image is four times the size also. It is magnified. So the magnification here is four. Okay. If the magnification here is 4, okay, then I say calculate the distance of the object and the image. So we need the distance of the object, DO, which is something as U. That is what we need. But there is a shortcut formula anyways. There is a shortcut formula for that. So let me show you the shortcut formula. Then we'll now use our normal. I don't really like using this shortcut formula. But let us use our normal analysis to get our answer, all right? Uh, using our normal analysis, first of all, uh, if the magnification is 4, okay, and they told us that our D, our DI is what? 4 times the DO. Okay? Having this, I know that the magnification, if it is upright, the magnification is going to be positive. So I have that my M is equal to what? Negative DI, negative, uh, what am I saying?
if it is upright. Okay, okay. And then, if it, the only thing that will make it upright is if if our di is equally negative. I hope you know. If our di is equally negative, so our di is going to be minus four di. You understand? Because if it is upright, then it is not formed at the right hand side. It is formed at the left hand side. So that is what you need to know again. Uh -huh. This is what what you need to know. So having this, I know that my. Okay, sorry. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I have this question. Let us analyze it. I have them, the focal, the focal length is what? 15 cm. Okay, they didn't tell us whether it is a converging or a diverging lens. Okay, but they told us that, that the magnification is 4. Why? Because, why is the magnification 4? They say that a focal length is 15 and it is upright. If it is upright, if it is upright, then it is formed at the left hand side. Don't forget. Uh -huh. Then they say that the the um, that the image form is four times the size of the so the image height. The image height is what four times the object height, and they are both positive. If they are both positive, then it means that my magnification is four because my magnification is what h i over h o, which is what four h o over h o, which is just four. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now, but I know that my M is equal to what? Minus U over, sorry, minus H of, um, high, minus the I over the O. Okay, minus the I over the O. Let me now put it. So I have that my, 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 my four, this is four, is equal to minus into. Now, you have to know that, that the image formed, must be at the left hand side why because it must be at the left hand side because the image formed is upright the only way your image should be upright it is when it is at the left hand side so i have minus the i over what the o okay which shows that my di is equal to 4 the o so if i have this now let me now say that i have that my f my f so one over i know a formula that say that one over f is equal to what 1 over the i plus 1 over the o. Alright? So now, so I'm going to have, I'm going to have that um, 1 over, okay? My f, my f is 15. So 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over my di is 4 do, 4 do, but my di is going to be negative. Don't forget, my di is going to be negative. So if my i is going to be negative, so I'm going to have negative 4 do, okay, plus negative 4 do. In fact, that is even what I'm supposed to use. Negative 4 do plus 1 over do. So multiply everybody by, by 60. This time, this is 60, 60 DO. So, these people will now have minus 4 DO, minus 4 DO is equal to, here we now have 15 plus, here we now have the 60. Right? Okay, sorry, I'm multiplying everybody by 60 DO. I'm the one that is making mistake. I'm multiplying everybody by 60 DO. Six, sorry, 60 DO in bracket of 1 over 15 is equal to 60 DO in bracket of 1 over minus 4 DO plus 60 DO in bracket of 1 over DO. So DO take care of DO. Uh, <laughs> sorry, DO here take care of DO. And then here I'm having 15 here. Okay, and here I'm having 4. So I have 4 DO is equal to what? Is equal to minus 15 plus 60. Uh -huh. So 4 DO is equal to 45. So my DO will now be what? 45 divided by 4, which will give you what? Which will give you 
45 divided by 4, which will give you what? Which will give you 45. 45 divided by 4, which will give you 11.25. That is the answer to this. So, therefore, my di, my di will now be equal to what? Minus 4 times 11.25, which will give you minus 45. Minus 45. So, that is that, which means it is formed at the left hand side. Okay. Calculate the the object uh, the uh, calculate the calculate the distance of the object and the image from the lens. So let me see what they have. Okay, so that is that CM. So it's just 45. This minus shows that it is in the left hand side. It is formed in the left hand side. So go to question number six. You know, if you if you are not careful with this thing, you will make mistake. So question number six. So question number six said the image. The image of a pin, the image of the a pin formed, the image of a pin formed by a diverging, a uh -huh, diverging lens of focal length, of focal length 10 cm is 5 cm from from the lens you now say calculate the distance calculate the distance of the pin from the lens okay solution i have that um they gave us that since it is a diverging the focal length is going to be minus 10 cm because i told you that the focal length of a diverging image is what is, is negative. The focal length of a convex, that is a diverging lens, I'm sorry, concave lens, which is a diverging lens, is negative. Okay, so then I say that the image of the pin, the image of the pin is 5 cm from the so the image distance. So the distance of the image is what 5 cm. So then I say we should calculate the distance of the object. So the distance of the object is unknown. So I know that 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v or 1 over di over 1 over do. So 1 over minus 10 is equal to what? 1 over 5 plus 1 over do. So what do I have now? So therefore, multiply everybody by 10 do. So 10 do into minus 1 over 10 is equal to 10 do into 1 over 5 plus 10 do into 1 over do so do take care of do 5 into this is 2 10 take care of 10 so i am left with so i'm left with uh, minus do minus do is equal to 2 times this is what 2do plus 10. So what do we have now? So we now have that what? That um, minus do minus 2do is equal to 10. Minus 3do is equal to what? 10. So my do is going to be what? 10 divided by 3. Is that? Let me check question number 6. Okay, sorry. I forgot that. Sorry. They gave us that the image formed is 5. But don't forget that the image formed in a convex lens. The, the image is always formed at the left. So here will equally be negative. Sorry, that's the mistake. The, the image formed for a diverging. Sorry, concave. 
a diverging lens is always at the negative so here will be negative so i have negative here sorry i have negative here so i have negative here so here we now positive so this and this will just give you the o and the o is simply 10 okay uh -huh. so that is that that's the mistake that was made initially so move over to the next question question number seven these are things students normally forget if you are not careful you will forget it as well so i have that the the magnification the magnification produced the magnification produced with with a converging converging lens is five okay is five and as if the object if the object is a square square wire square wire gaze of size 2 cm and I say calculate the area of the image <laughs> okay calculate the area of the size of the image so they said the magnification is solution now they said that the magnific the magnification produced with a converging lens is five they gave us that the magnification is positive five so if the magnification is positive side five then that means this image formed is uh is upright and if it is upright it's going to be formed in the left hand side okay that is what you need to know it's going to be formed in the left hand side so what do we have that say that if the object is a square wire uh, gaze uh, gaze of size 2 cm so they gave us the height the height of the object is what they gave us the height of this object is what 2 2 cm okay so and the height of the image will equally be positive because it is this one is positive so let us get the height of the image the height of the image is unknown but i know that my m is equal to height of an image all over what height of the object so my 5 is equal to height of the image i'm looking for all over 2 so if you cross multiply i'm going to have the height of the image is going to be 5 times 2 which is what 10 so the area area is this since it's a square is going to be hi hi all squared which is what 10 square and 10 squared is what 100 so the answer there is 100 cm square cm square so we move to the next question this is very simple question number eight so question number eight question number eight said an object an object placed placed 10 cm in front 10 cm in front of a converging converging lens of focal length of focal length 15 cm from okay sorry 15 cm forms a virtual image very important take note of this virtual forms a virtual image 30 cm away away from the lens okay then i say calculate calculate the object object distance the object distance from from the lens okay solution now first of all they told us that is a converging lens okay if it's a converging they say that an object placed 10 cm in front of a converging lens so the distance of this object is what 10 cm okay then they told us that the focal length is what 15 cm it is positive because it is a converging lens 
but the problem now is that it forms a virtual image if it forms a virtual image that means that image must be at the left hand side because any virtual and upright image is at the left hand side so the distance of this image the distance of this image is um is 30 cm so it's going to be minus 30 cm because it is formed at the left hand side okay so then i say we should calculate uh an object placed 10 cm in front of a converging lens of focal length 15 from okay forms a virtual image 30 cm away from the okay 30 cm away from the length oh 30 cm away from the length hmm. 30 cm away from the length okay then i say we should calculate the length of the object placed from the lens they say way to an object placed 10 cm in front of a converging lens let me just draw this to have the picture this is the converging lens a converging lens is a is a is a converse lens so this object is placed 10 cm from this place this is the 10 cm that is the distance of the object okay from a converging lens and then the focal length the focal length is uh, 15 so the focal length is 15 so this is where the focal length is 15 this is my f 15 okay in front of the vet okay oh they say that converging lens or focal length 15 cm okay focal length 15 cm forms a virtual image okay it forms a virtual image that is 30 cm away from the length away from the from the length i don't understand wait till. 30 cm away from the length okay 30 cm away from the length of this object from this from the length of this focal length look at it an object is placed 10 cm in front of a converging lens yes or focal length this uh -huh. then i said forms a virtual image 30 cm away from that length so we have the image formed here the image is formed here 30 cm so therefore the image the distance of this image is going to be this 30 plus this 15 that is 45 so it is 45 cm away from this so then i say we should calculate calculate the object distance from the lens well, they've already told us that the an object is placed 10 cm in front of a converging lens so why are they asking us again i play the object distance from the lens there is a mistake in this question wait so let me see again an object is placed 10 cm in front of a converging lens of focal length 15 cm forms a virtual image uh -huh, 30 cm away okay away from the lens uh -huh, 30 cm away from the lens 30 cm away from the lens okay so that is the distance of this image the image distance is going to be what minus 30 why is it minus 30 because it is formed at the left hand side because that is the only way we can get a virtual image okay An object, okay. So they say calculate the distance, calculate the object, the object distance from the lens. The object distance from the lens is obviously 10 because they have already told us that. But if you want us to calculate it again, no problem. We can still calculate it again if you want us to. So let us calculate it again. So we have that 1 over f is equal to 1 over the i plus 1 over what the o. It's obviously 10, but I don't know why they're asking it again. So I thought there is a mistake in this question. So what do I have now? 1 over 15 is equal to what? 1 over minus 30 plus 1 over the o. So the LCM is uh, 30. So multiply everybody by LCM of the denominator. That is 30 the o. So I'm going to have that what? 
30 do in bracket of 1 over 15 is equal to 30 do in bracket of 1 over minus 30 plus 30 do in bracket of 1 over do okay so what do i have here here will give me 2 do is equal to here will give me do minus do plus what here will give me 30 so this one coming here 2 do plus do is equal to 30 so 3 do is equal to 30 then do is equal to 30 over 3 which is what 10 cm uh -huh. they are supposed to say that you should prove we should prove that that the distance from the object to the lens is 10 because they have already given it to us so the answer there is 10 Okay, so we'll go to question number nine. So the question number nine said that if if the magnification of a virtual very important virtual image virtual image formed virtual image formed formed of an object 10 cm from a convex convex lens if it's a convex lens then it is a diverging lens is a converging lens okay it is 3 then I say calculate the focal length. Calculate the focal length of the lens. Okay, solution. They say that the magnification is three. If the magnification is three, and then it forms a virtual image, then it's going to be positive three. And if it is positive three, then the image formed is going to be at the left. Okay. They said that if the magnification of a virtual image placed image formed of an object 10 cm from so the distance of the object is what 10 cm okay and now so we should calculate our f our f is unknown but i know that my m is equal to what the the i over what the o the i over the o so i have that my m which is 3 is equal to my di, my di is unknown over the O, 10. So my di will now be what? 3 times 10, which is equal to what? 30 cm. So, but the distance of this object, distance of this image is going to be at the left since it is virtual. So that's why I'm going to have minus 10. Okay? And in fact, use minus here so that it will be easier. So I'm going to have minus 30. So if you have minus 30, I now have that 1 over f is equal to 1 over the i plus 1 over the o. So 1 over f that I'm looking for is 1 over minus 30 plus 1 over 10. So multiply everybody by 30 f. So I have what? 30 f in bracket of 1 over f is equal to 30 f in bracket of 1 over minus 30 plus 30 f in bracket of 1 over 10. So this into this will give me 3f. This into this and this into this. I have 30 is equal to minus f plus what? 3f. Right? So I have that my 30 is equal to 2f. My f is equal to 30 by 2, which is 15 cm. So the answer to number 9 is 15 cm. So we move to the next question. Question number whatever. Okay. Okay, maybe I have to stop here. The next video will continue.